What are clinical trials? Simply put, clinical trials are not animal research. They are not test tube research. Clinical trials are human research. That means people like you. You may be wondering, why would someone participate in a clinical trial? There's lots of reasons. You may want to help others who have the same disease. You may be able to access newer treatments. And there may be some financial considerations as well. But for any of these reasons, if you have type 2 diabetes, there are over 350 ongoing trials in the United States. If you're wondering how many people are in each trial, the answer is, it depends. There's a few trials that are quite small, needing less than 20 participants. Among other trials, they're pretty equally divided among those needing 20 to 100, those needing 100 to 1,000, and even those that need more than 1,000. All these ongoing trials need people to participate. A lot of people. There are generally considered to be two types of clinical trials. The first type is called interventional. These interventional trials might be researching medications, which even might be taken by injection. They're looking at new medical devices, or even surgical procedures. The other type of trials is called observational. In these types of trials, you might be asked lots of questions. And unfortunately, you might not escape the needle if they need to draw your blood. When most people think of trials, they think of interventional trials. In diabetes, over 80% of clinical trials are interventional. That said, because observational trials tend to need a lot more participants, there's actually more people needed for these than for interventional. When you look at who runs these trials, about one half of interventional trials are sponsored by private industry. For observational, it's only about one fifth. The remainder of these trials are sponsored by universities, nonprofit organizations, or the government. Another question people often have is, what are the phases of clinical trials? Phases of trials generally refer to new drugs in development. The first phase, phase one, tend to be small trials that focus on safety and dosage. Phase two trials are medium size, trying to determine if the drug is effective. Phase three trials can be quite large and are often comparing the new medication to other available treatments. Finally, phase four trials are for drugs that have already been approved by the FDA. Additional research is being done to better understand the risks and benefits. It's important to know, however, that about 50% of type two diabetes trials have no phase at all. These trials may be observational, researching already approved drugs, or a variety of other types. Although some trials don't have a phase, every trial has inclusion and exclusion criteria. These are the requirements for being in that particular trial. There are many different types of criteria for trials. Some possible examples of criteria for a diabetes trials might be that you're on insulin, or that you're not on insulin, or maybe that you're a woman, or maybe even that you're a pirate. There are all sorts of criteria that a trial might have, and it's important to understand what they are to determine if you're eligible. We have to admit, we haven't seen any pirate trials yet. Worried about just getting a placebo? It's important to understand that your current medications are not just going to be thrown away. If you need medications and or insulin to control your diabetes, the folks running the trial are going to make sure you continue to receive them. Clinical trials try to make sure that participants receive at least the standard of care. Every clinical trial has an institutional review board, or an IRB. This is a collection of people that include physicians, scientists, and even representatives from the community that examine the protocol for a clinical trial. They ensure that the risks are as low as possible and worth any potential benefits. In every trial, it is important that participants be able to give their informed consent. This is an important term in clinical trials that means you are able to understand the key facts about the trial so you can make an informed decision about whether or not you want to participate. And even if you decide to participate in a clinical trial, remember that you always have the right to leave a trial at any time, for any reason. In a recent survey of almost 150 diabetes patients who had previously participated in a clinical trial, we asked them if they would recommend it to others. The overwhelming majority, 88%, said yes. A small number indicated they were unsure, and not a single person said no. We hope this answers some of your questions about clinical trials, particularly for type 2 diabetes. If you're interested in finding out more, 
or identifying clinical trials that might be right for you, visit us at karangi.com.